Well, we begin tonight with the latest on a school prayer controversy we've been on top of now for more than a year. One day after the courts ordered Cranston West to take down a religious message that's been hanging in that school for decades, the student behind the push to remove the banner says she's ecstatic. But many other members of the Cranston West community are singing a much different tune tonight. I would assume reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Yes, a junior here at Cranston High School West is speaking out tonight after winning a controversial court case challenging a prayer mural here. I'm so glad and proud that the right decision was made. Jessica Alquist speaking with reporters today about a decision by a federal judge ordering the immediate removal of this prayer mural from the auditorium at Cranston West High School. The district court carefully reviewed the record to conclude, as we had argued, that the school prayer was installed to convey a religious message. Jessica Alquist is a junior at Cranston West. She's an atheist who says the judge's decision is rewarding but not surprising. This country was founded to be a secular country. We're supposed to keep church and state separate so that people can have their rights and their freedom to choose. And I think that this lawsuit is a reflection of that. Outside Cranston West this afternoon, the feeling was universal. The prayer mural should stay. I think that they need to look at the whole population of the school and not just one girl's opinion. I think it's a hell of a mess that one person can do that. They don't believe in prayer, so if we take it down, we just lost our prayer, didn't we? and they won because now their prayer is on the wall which is nothing the cranston school committee is set to vote on tuesday on whether to appeal the judge's ruling as for the order to remove the prayer mural immediately we're told the auditorium is now locked jessica alquist believes the judge's ruling is a victory not just for her but for everyone she'll explain why new at six live in cranston with the west bay mobile newsroom sean daly eyewitness news well, it seems like everyone has an opinion on this hot button issue, including Rhode Island Governor Lincoln Chafee, who tells us he believes the court got it right. Bill of Rights um, addresses the separation of church and state, and it's been an area that's been litigated by the Supreme Court over the years. When I was in first and second grade, we used to say the Lord's Prayer at the start of every uh, class that no longer occurs. And uh, look at his decision, it's a 40 page decision. It's, I don't think it's accurate. This is uh, a clear cut, in my view, uh, violation of the Constitution.